You saw that digital story, that digital story we did explaining our mission. We'd love to, for you to continue to yeah. share that. And when the first week of February comes, which is World Interfaith Harmony Week, that would be another great time to make it known throughout New York State to celebrate World Interfaith okay. Harmony Week. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Dan. Always a Thank pleasure. Thank you very much. That would great initiatives, right? And last but not least, you know, Dr. Frank, you know, brings a lot of wisdom, and uh, this is really a coalition of I, what I consider the best of the best. Dr. Frank, Thank welcome. Thank you very much. I'm Frank Kaufman. Um, I'm the president of the 12 Gates Foundation. It is an interfaith organization. I've done interfaith for over 40 years. I've been involved mostly in war areas. I've negotiated between Israel and Palestine. Between, um, uh, I was involved in Kashmir and India, the Ayodhya Mosque controversy, and I also negotiated between the Kremlin and the White House during the first Gulf War. Mm -hmm. We gathered, uh, we gathered nine grand muftis in Alexandria to prevent Saddam Hussein from claiming jihad status for his invasion of Kuwait. So that's been the nature of my life. Oh, I was wondering if, would, would you care to sit because you had to, I've been watching you, I feel so, you're fine. Okay, thank you. All right, let's make sure we have We're good. Uh, and so uh, I'm very grateful to Guruji for inviting me here because it's a tremendous honor to meet you, Assembly. It's, it's, it's a great honor for me, and it's a great pleasure for me to be in the presence of all of your staff. They made us feel very welcome. And uh, I know that that this team has a million things to do, and interfaith is not the thing you do every day. No, it's at crucial. Every, it really yes. is crucial for us. And so I thought just to say a couple of words about interfaith itself, uh, because, because there's ways to have it with us all the time, not occasionally. And so I thought I might offer thoughts on that. Interfaith, of course, has to do with the relationship among religious communities. Now, why is anyone ever a part of a religious community or religious at all? Religion has only to do with things that are beyond our control. That's why we participate in spiritual and religious activity. Births, marriages, and our transition to the great beyond. Right. These are things we don't know enough about. They're in, quote unquote, they're in God's hands. Right. There's another one, rite of passage. When your youngster turns 13, 14, you know, what right. kind of friends will he or she have? And the, the, these are four areas that are out, utterly outside of our control. And even the roughest atheist among us is kind of, the hope this kid will be healthy, born healthy, born in one piece, you know, it's the sure. things that are out of our control, that's religion. And our Yonkers or our world, there's people, there's Muslims that when there's a birth, when there's a marriage, is it the right person for my daughter? Will it last? Will he be an honest person? It's, it's in God's hands. Islam speaks to them in that Hinduism, the, the Hindu tradition speaks to that mom or that dad in that moment. Your your mom or your grandpa is on their last last breaths. What will be their eternal destiny? Christianity speaks to me in that moment. So when we when we have meet anyone, we want to know what where what is your home for the most scary things that that's how i can know you best do you have a brother is he going to college what what ha is he going to pass his tests and that's how i know you and so if we meet each other in the home of where we turn when things are beyond our control that's when we meet each other most sincerely that and so going to an interfaith meeting is not just um respecting your tradition or something like that. I want to know, what does Islam tell you in case I could get something out of it? Or what does Hinduism tell you? Because 
my daughter is pregnant, uh, maybe I could learn something from that. Yes, I'm a Christian, or yes, I'm a Jew, but interfaith is the real home where, where we we're no longer have any hostilities. We, we're soft to one another uh, about those matters. And that's the beginning of the softness that then grows into differences of political opinion, differences of school or votes or things like that. We start, we, interfaith is the beginning of where we're truly soft to one another. So I just wanted to think those thoughts aloud and, and thank you really for inviting me. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, here you have it. Uh, you know, and, and the symbol before us, can somebody explain? Or maybe we can take a picture. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, really take it. We look for it, huh? There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Go, go, go. I'm good. One, one part of it is all the citations. Mine is right there leaning on the... Over here? Yeah. 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 So this is yeah. one right there. Yeah. 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 Wow. About 18 of them. Organizers in New Orleans, because of New York State. <laughs> property, actually. Not our property. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Got it? Yeah, we're good. All right.